The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another episode of the Madden 17 Ultimate Team Budget Series. Now guys, today the position that we're going to be taking a look at is I think probably one of the most common ones that people ask me about because it's a position that just not a lot of people really even know what you do with it um there it's probably the most forgotten about position in football i mean it's just it's extremely important but people just don't really look at it enough and that's offensive line so what i'm going to be doing today guys is taking a look at the bud the best budget players and comparing them to some of the guys that are some of the most expensive players currently in the game at their position so obviously guys this doesn't necessarily mean that the player that you're gonna be seeing that's a budget card is better than the more expensive card but what it's meant to do is kind of give you guys a comparison between the two so that you can get an idea of what you'll be getting for your money if you do spend that extra coin so with that being said let's hop into it and let's start off by taking a look at left tackles this is probably the most important position in real football Definitely one of the most important positions on the offensive line in Madden as well because it, it basically is its job is to protect the quarterback's uh, blind side in real NFL and then also most of the time in in Madden you're going to be playing with a right-handed quarterback there are some guys out there that like to play with the left-handed quarterback so it's a little bit flipped but either way um, obviously guys the important things here that we look at are the attributes that you see on your screen my opinion is that the most important three attributes are the first three that you see there strength run block blocking and pass blocking now the run blocking and pass blocking are one and two in my opinion you can decide you know if you're a run first offense you probably want to try and get guys that have better run blocking pass blocking offense you know if you if you pass the ball pretty much every play then you probably don't really have to worry about run blocking that much now strength i think is probably the third most important thing and then the other four attributes are all in my opinion not super important but they're at least things that we can use to differentiate between some of the players so these are the only ones that really matter in my opinion for the offensive line there are also other positions or other uh, attributes uh, along the offensive line excuse me that a lot, of, a lot of people look at and think that they're important so there are four attributes pass blocking strength pass blocking footwork run blocking strength and run blocking footwork those four attributes actually mean absolutely nothing in madden the only thing that they matter for is if you simulate games in like connected franchise or something like that. And I, I know what you're asking, well, why do they put it on their mutt card? I don't know. I honestly do not understand that. Uh, EA has come out themselves and admitted this. If you guys have watched my videos in the past, you already know this. Those attributes do not matter for mutt, so disregard them completely. They absolutely do not matter one even iota whatsoever. So th again, the ones that are most important are the first three that you see there. So that's really what I try to focus on in this video as well. So obviously guys, the cards that you're seeing on the left here on the screen when they pop up, these are the budget cards. So the first one that we have here is the most expensive budget card that we're going to have in today's episode. And again, I did that because I think it's the most important position on the offensive line. So our budget here is about 10,000 coins, okay? So anything under 10,000 coins is what we're going to use. So obviously on the left side of your screen, we've got Andrew Whitworth and he's going for 10,000 coins. I think he's definitely one of the best budget offensive linemen in this game. Now, the attributes that you see there don't necessarily show that because we're comparing him to Anthony Munoz, who is the best left tackle in the game right now. Um, Anthony Munoz is going for 90,000 coins, but I want you to really look at the attributes and look how close these two cards are, especially in those things that we talked about, the most important three attributes, run block, pass block, and strength strength those things are almost identical between these cards their pass blocking is literally the exact same at an 88 and then he's only one lower in both strength and run blocking so he is very 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 close to anthony munoz in those attributes where he does lag a little bit behind are on things like impact block speed acceleration awareness things like that um, awareness you would think would mean that the guy is better at picking up blitzes and things like that i actually haven't really seen that to be the case to be completely honest with you uh so again i'm 
I'm not 100% sure on the awareness thing. I, that's why I don't really consider it to be super important. I've used these offensive linemen before and had very good success with them. So I don't really even regard uh, awareness as being important whatsoever at this point. But I know a lot of people would complain if we didn't include it. So it's on there for your enjoyment, I guess. But uh, again, Anthony Munoz, 90,000 coins. So he's nine times as expensive as Andrew Whitworth, but he's really not worth that in my opinion. I would definitely recommend going with Andrew Whitworth considering the price difference. I mean, these cards are super, super close in the attributes that really matter. So then we're going to move on now to right tackle. So this is the opposite side, all the way on the right side of your offensive line. Marcus Gilbert is on the left side of your screen there. 5,000 coins. He is actually ahead of Eric Winston in two of those most, the three most important attributes. Now, Eric Winston is going for 115,000 coins, so very, very expensive, but he actually lags behind Gilbert in by quite a bit in both strength and pass blocking. He's two behind him in pass blocking and five behind him in strength. So those things are really quite important, to be honest with you. And it's funny is he's actually behind him in awareness as well. Now, he is quite a bit better in acceleration and speed. But other than that, I, I mean, to be honest with you, I really don't think those attributes are that important. And other than that, I mean, I would honestly take Marcus Gilbert over Eric Winston straight up. And the price difference is massive. So, I mean, you could honestly say that Marcus Gilbert's the better card between these two. Now, obviously, if you run the ball a ton, you're probably going to want Eric Winston over Marcus Gilbert. But, I mean, if you just run a balanced offense or if you're a pass-centered offense like most people are that play Madden this year, yeah, I would definitely go with Marcus Gilbert. Quite a bit less expensive. So, definitely take a look at that one and try him out, guys. Now we're going to move on to left guard. So this is the first guy inside to the left or to the actually to the right of your left tackle. So now this card here on the left, Gabe Jackson, is a most feared card. This is going to drop in price. Right now when I'm making this video, this is the most feared promo. So this is probably the highest that you're going to see this card at because people are going to want it for, well, I guess it's not the very highest because once uh, they all morph a little bit, you know, they're going to get better. During that time, he'll be a little bit more expensive than this. But once this promo ends, you're going to want to take a look at this Gabe Jackson because he is going to drop a little bit in price. I would guess he's probably going to settle around four to 5,000 coins. So very, very cheap. But take a look at those attributes, man. He's only three behind JR Sweezy in, in run blocking, and he crushes him in pass blocking. He's five ahead of him in pass blocking, and he's also four ahead of him in strength. So again, two out of the three biggest attributes that we look for, this card is better. Now, he is way worse in a couple of the other things here. Speed, way worse, like not even remotely close. And acceleration, he's four lower. Impact block, he's 18 lower as well. Now, I will say this, impact blocking, in my opinion, is not super important because as far as I understand it, impact blocking is basically when your offensive lineman pancakes the defensive lineman. Or, or if it's, you know, if he's going down the field and he hits a cornerback or something like that, that would be considered an impact block. So if he doesn't have super high attributes in that, it's not the end of the world because he's typically going to just need to run into them to do basically what we're looking for. So in my opinion, it's not that important. And also keep in mind, if he's going up against safeties or cornerbacks and even some of the lower strength and, and those type of guys for linebackers, he can still knock them on their asses, so I'm not super worried about that. And considering that he's only 7,000 coins and JR Sweezy on the right side of your screen is 125,000 coins, yeah, in my opinion, it's definitely not worth the upgrade to go to JR Sweezy. So let's move on now to right guard, and this is on the opposite side of the left guard, so it's one in from your right tackle. And Trey Turner is the budget card that we're going to be looking at here. Now, I'm going to first say that Trey Turner is definitely not as good overall as Kyle Long on the right side of your screen. And also, I want to point out that this is the Kyle Long that's just the color rush version. There is also a milestone version of this card that's a little bit more expensive. And not many people actually use the, uh, the Thursday Night Football color rush edition of this card because most people are going to upgrade it. But I will say that uh, I just wanted to include the cheaper one so that you guys could get an idea of uh, you know the cheaper price that you could go to because the Kyle Long that is the milestone obviously has an additional chemistry and things like that so that is somewhat important but I think the things again that we want to look at here with these cards the price difference is just so huge and I don't think that the attributes really justify it if you look at it man it's like 
Trey Turner is three higher in pass protection, which is important, obviously, and he's only two lower in run blocking, and he's one lower in strength. Not that different. Like, really, they're really not that different, to be completely honest. And, and obviously, again, some of these things like impact block, he's quite a bit lower. But as far as the other attributes, he's not that much lower in those either. Acceleration, he's not substantially lower speed. He's pretty much the same. And awareness, he's five lower, but still, it's not terrible. So again, I think that for the price difference, man, you're talking about basically a minimum price gold card here with Trey Turner. And he is a very, very good card, very well balanced, and he's going to do a great job for you if you try him out. So last but not least, we have centers. Now, centers are, in my opinion, the least important position on the offensive line because basically there's not a whole lot of A gap or B gap blitzes in this game. So your center doesn't have to typically bl block that much as far as like, you know, blitzes and things like that. His job is pretty much to help out the left tack or the left guard and the right guard or to block somebody that blitzes up the middle. And other than that, it's like they don't really have to do a whole lot, to be completely honest. So uh, that's why I think that this is a position that I would definitely recommend spending less coins on. So Weston Richburg here, 84 overall. He is going for 3,500 coins. Very, very cheap. And I think very worth 3,500 coins as well. I mean, you could definitely justify spending more on a card that had attributes like this because he is the same as Alex Mack in pass protection at an 85. And he's actually better than him at run blocking so again what i mentioned before my two most important attributes are pass blocking and run blocking and then i look at strength so if you look at that i mean yes western richburg is behind alex mack by a pretty substantial amount he is eight lower in strength fair enough i understand that but the run blocking he's better in and the pass blocking he's the exact same and he's so much cheaper than alex mack who's going for eighty thousand coins now that obviously this is a signature alex mack so that's part of the reason why he's going for more coins but even still it's still way too much in my opinion to spend on him uh, Alex Mack also has the 91 for an impact block, so he does a great job if he does go out there on like a sweep or something like that, or if you run a um, you know screen pass or something like that. He's going to do a great job getting down there and knocking guys down, but in my opinion, it's not worth it. <laughs> like The price difference is just so huge for some of these cards, and I just don't think it's that much of a difference. So with that being said, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like on the video, and let me know in the comments section below what position do you guys want to see next. We've done offensive line now. Uh, we could move on to defensive line. I'm thinking defensive ends possibly next because I want to kind of mix it up a little bit with defensive ends and defensive tackles because there are some guys that are better at pass rushing and run uh run rushing and things like that so we'll just you know break it up into defensive ends and defensive tackles i think in separate videos so that's what i'm thinking we'll do for the next budget series video but i want to hear from you guys if you have a question or anything like that be sure to drop those in the comment section below and let me know if there are any other budget offensive linemen that you guys particularly like and let me know which attributes that you look for most when you're taking a look at offensive line so with that being said guys thank you so much for all the support hope you enjoyed it if you did, again, do me a favor and drop a like on it. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.